Hello, this is Steve at Hydrogen for Health. What you see in front of you today is a lot of different hydrogen water bottles. All of these bottles make hydrogen. For those of you who are just stopping by this video, I have some special information for you here if you're in the market to buy a hydrogen bottle. Not all hydrogen bottles are safe for you, and I want to demonstrate why a bottle is not safe for you and why a bottle can be safe for you to drink. Some of these bottles that you see here generate chlorine and ozone gas, and they put it into your water. And you're not expecting it, but you're drinking chlorine and you're drinking ozone. So this video might be a little long, but just stay here with me and I want to tell you why 95% of the bottles on the market put chlorine and ozone and other byproducts into the water you're drinking and these vendors are not telling you this they're keeping this from you they know that this happens in their bottles but they're keeping it from you and I'm going to show you why so two of these bottles are not like the other they're all from different vendors two of these bottles use a different technology than 95% of the rest of the bottles on the market and I'm going to show you what that technology is and why it's important that you look for the right technology if you want to keep yourself and your family safe and you want to drink healthy, fresh, hydrogen-rich water. In the bottom of every hydrogen water bottle is a hydrogen generator. What this hydrogen generator does is it takes the water that you've poured into the top and it has a generator in the bottom that splits water, which is H2O, into two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen. So when this is done, it splits the water and you get the hydrogen and oxygen gas that bubbles up through your water. Now in this generator, it has two plates and hydrogen and oxygen is generated on these plates by putting electricity across these plates. Electricity splits the water into the gas that you see bubbling up through the bottle. Now the positive plate is the plate that generates the oxygen. The negative plate is the plate that generates the hydrogen. And that's how these work. So, in our hydrogen water bottles, what we're wanting to drink is pure hydrogen water that is clean and free of any contaminants. As I was saying before, in the generator on the bottom, it has two plates. On the negative plate is where hydrogen is generated, and that's what we want in our water. On the positive plate, oxygen is generated, and oxygen is not what we want in our water. Chemistry tells us that other things are created on this plate. If you have any chlorides in your water, which is basically any salts, and most tap water and drink water has these salts in it. On that positive plate you'll generate chlorine. That's the same chlorine that's in swimming pools. It'll generate chlorine on the positive plate and when it does that it puts the chlorine into your water. Also on the positive plate ozone is generated and when that ozone is generated it'll put the ozone into the water. There are also some other small byproducts that are generated on the positive plate that gets put into your drinking water. What we want in our drinking water is just hydrogen. Only hydrogen is generated on the negative plate and nothing else. So in these four bottles here, the technology in the bottom of the bottle to generate the hydrogen uses a positive and negative plate inside of your water. So you get the chlorine and ozone and other byproducts put directly into your water, which can be unhealthy for you, especially when you're not thinking that it's going to be unhealthy. The vendors won't mention that this happens because what they're trying to do is sell a healthy product. When in all reality, they're not selling a healthy product. So in these bottles here, these use what's called PEM technology. And this PEM technology is also called PEM dual chamber technology. In this bottle, the positive and the negative plate are separated so that only the negative plate which produces hydrogen is in your water. The positive plate is separated out of the water so that it doesn't put any oxygen, any chlorine, any ozone, or any other byproducts in your water that can be unhealthy. So now I'm going to take apart one of these bottles and show you what the generator looks like and show you these positive and negative plates that I'm speaking of. Okay, here you can see the plates. And if you remember, the glass connects in like this and your water is poured right in and in the bottom 
you can see the plates where the hydrogen and oxygen is generated. If you look closely, there's two separate plates in there. One of them is going to be your positive plate and one is going to be your negative plate. On the negative plate is where your hydrogen will be generated. And on the positive plate is where the oxygen, chlorine, ozone, and other byproducts are generated on that plate. And they're directly in your drinking water. On these two bottles here that employ PEM dual chamber technology, the plates are separated by a membrane. The generator in this bottle looks like this. This is the generator. You can see the negative plate. It's just one plate. The positive plate, you can't see it's on the inside. But the plates look like this. Two separate plates that are put together. And in between that plate is a membrane. This is a non-permeable membrane. Nothing can get through this except electrons. And that's placed in between the two plates. As you can see in the bottom of the generator, that is your negative plate. That is the plate that generates hydrogen. The positive plate is isolated by that membrane so that the oxygen, ozone, chlorine, and other byproducts are ejected out the bottom of the generator through this hole right here. It separates the harmful byproducts from your drinking water. Just for the sake of proving this to you, I have a test that we're going to do. We're going to use some chlorine drops. In this test, this will show if there's chlorine in the water or not. So what we're going to do, we're going to take one of the bottles that is saturating the market by over 95%. 95% of the hydrogen bottles on the market use this technology. We're going to fill this with water, we're going to turn it on, and we're going to see if it generates chlorine. The other 5% of bottles on the market, SPE technology, we're going to test this water and see if there's any chlorine in this water. So let me set up for that test. Okay, I have the two bottles set up now. I'm going to go ahead and start them. And we'll run them for the same amount of time, the seven minutes. And you can see both bottles have approximately the same amount of water in them. I also have some strips here to test for ozone. We're going to test for ozone in both of these bottles. So I'll be back in seven minutes when the process is completed. Okay, you can see both the bottles have finished their process of making hydrogen. We're going to go ahead and test for chlorine. And when you put these drops in, it'll turn the water a yellow tint if there's chlorine in the water. Let's first try the PEM bottle. Four drops in. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we'll go ahead and stir it up a little bit. So you can see, now if you look at the water, you can see that the water is still crystal clear, indicating there is no chlorine in this water. Now let's put four drops in this bottle. Look at that right away. You can see that it's turned yellow, almost an orange color. There's a significant amount of chlorine in this water and you can actually smell it. it. Smells like a swimming pool. So if you have a bottle like this and you think it has kind of a weird smell, that's chlorine. Chlorine in your drinking water. So you might as well be drinking hydrogen chlorine pool water. Okay, we are also going to test for ozone. This is a little strip put into the water and it has a little gauge on the back to tell you how much ozone is in your water. Take the PEM bottle, go ahead and put it down there into the water. I want you to put it there for 10 seconds. And we're supposed to wait 20 seconds. And we'll put it up to the little gauge here and see if there's any ozone in the water. Okay, as you can see, hopefully that's coming out good. We're about this color here, which indicates no ozone in the water. Okay, let's do a strip on the other bottle. Do this for 10 seconds. That's approximately 10 seconds. I want us to wait 
20 seconds. And I can tell right away. Let's see what we've got. So that kind of shows better. Looks like we're probably into the 0.5 or greater ppm parts per million of ozone in the water. And just to show you the other strip, hopefully that's coming out good on the camera. No ozone. No ozone. If I hold the strips together, the one on the right is the standard bottle, and the one on the left is the PEM bottle. So you can clearly see that you're getting chlorine and ozone in your drinking water. Also, oxygen is being put in. Oxygen is not bad for you, but the chlorine and the ozone is. I do sell SPE PEM bottles. And I wanted to make this video to show people that I'm not only just saying that these are better bottles, I wanted to show you unbiasedly that they are better bottles and they're much healthier for you. You don't want your family drinking this water. So think twice before you purchase a hydrogen bottle, do your research, and buy something that's healthy. These vendors aren't going to tell you that their bottle is unhealthy. It's going to take someone like me that knows the technology to be able to tell you what's going on inside the bottle. We only want to put in our bodies clean, hydrogen-rich water. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you a series of photos of different bottles on eBay and Amazon and other places that do not have PEM technology. And like I said, it's 95% of the bottles on the market. There are a few more PEM and SPE bottles on the market. They're harder to find. But if you have one of these bottles or one of the bottles in the picture, you can go ahead and buy yourself some chlorine drops to test it for yourself, or you can take my word for it. I'm glad to be able to bring this video to you. This is Steve with Hydrogen for Health. Thanks for watching.